you and I am showing you how I made my bed. It was super cool and it came out awesome. I love it, so I hope you enjoy this video. The whole goal for this bed was that I could use stuff that we had and spend very little money. So I ended up spending about $15 in all. The design was pretty simple. It was basically a box bed um, on four posts and then I had three slats and a board which actually ended up being a door that we found in our garage. So we used a lot of like stuff we had around. No headboard or footboard. It was just the base. So the first thing I did was I have a twin bed so I measured all around and then I measured boards to fit a box around it. The height of the boards had to make enough room for um, part of the post so I could screw it in, then the slat and then the door which is thick because normally you can just use plywood but we were trying to use what we had so I used a door and then a little bit of space for the mattress so that the mattress stays on and doesn't slide around. Then I primed it because in order to get the bed up to my room, which is on the second floor, we wouldn't be able to take the whole bed. So I had to actually end up painting it inside my room. So I wanted to eliminate as much process of painting, so I primered everything. When I was primering the boards outside, the giantest mess you could ever think of happened. I had this three gallon can of paint. I'm suspecting that the lid is closed, okay? So that I tip it over to turn it. I just spilled two gallons of paint from that thing over there and now I have to clean it up off the sidewalk. So now we have like two gallons of paint spill on the floor and I'm trying to paint these boards. It didn't happen that day. It didn't. So this is what happens when you don't shut the top of a paint can. I give you warning. Please. Shut it. There's my project over there. Rejected and sad. And there's the suspect bad boy. I primered. Then I took all the boards upstairs and we started building it. Well, first of all, it wasn't just me building it. It was like mostly my dad and me trying to figure out how to hold this like gigantic drill made for a man. I have to give him a lot of thanks for this. <laughs> we had to, each corner was, each corner was like a it was like two boards and there was a post. We had to get it all level. And so that was my job and it took me quite a few tries. I'm trying to make this level and it's really terrifying. So I have to use this. Then I think this board, which is as wide as this board, because there's gonna be a board right there. And then it all has to be level. Plus to make sure that this is only in two inches because I need to be the mattress and for the door. This is so hard. This is like super, super hard. I did it. I did it. Part of building it um, was to put all the four corners together. And then we realized after we built it that it would need some braces. So in each um, corner we put a metal brace as you can see here that really helps so that the the boards wouldn't like pull out from the mattress or something like that so after we did that then we put two slats one on top of the post the posts on one side and the other on top of the posts on the other side and then in the middle we measured straight across and we put two metal um, little corner things kind of like what we put in the corners and on top of that we drilled the third Slat. Now these slats aren't like super, like you don't have to have them, but our problem was that the door was not quite the right size and also we just needed extra support so this thing is going to stay together forever. Ain't going nowhere. It's a real mantle. Oh! Oh! Oh crap. 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 Ah. Oh! I can do this! <laughs> this is the mattress test and 
basically what we did is built the whole entire thing and I'm super excited. I can't believe this is actually finished. So we tested and we put the mattress on and it works well. There's a little bit more of a gap because of a measurement problem. My strong suit is not really math so you know things happen. But anyways now all I have to do is paint the bed and I am so so happy. After that whole thing was done I painted the whole thing inside my room so I had like tarps, mess, it was crazy. dry overnight because since I was putting fabric on it even though they say it's done after like two hours or however many times you always want to give it at least 12 hours next morning I put my mattress on and made the whole bed and it looked like this I love it it looks totally cool and I'm so happy with how it turned out it took me a while but it was worth it and I learned a lot and made a lot of mistakes that I'm going to be glad I did now instead of when I have to build something like more important Hope you like that guys and I hope you got something out of it so that if you want to build a bed yourself then you can learn something from the stuff I did. It was super fun and it turned out really great. I'm super happy with it. Three things. Like, subscribe, comment, and turn the notification thing. That was actually four. Bye! There is going to be a lot of bloopers for this video. Stupidity. So, I have painted the whole thing. Ugh, oh my gosh. I only need to do one coat of paint. Do not come in! Hey guys, Abby here. No. Hey guys, it's Abby. Today I am coming to you with how to make... Today I am coming to you with how I made my bed. And dumb. Today, I'm... loosen up, Abby.